west of us. Oh! Oh! oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, that all yes. oh. What's up YouTube, Cheese here, and today's video we're going to be covering how to control high sense accurately on controller in Rainbow Six Siege. So I run 100, 150, so 100 horizontal, 100 vertical, 50 ADS. Uh, it's not the highest sense in Siege I've ever seen, but it is relatively on the higher side of the spectrum. So basically today's video is just going to cover the tips, tricks, drills that I run on a daily basis before I go into ranked games that help me control my recoil, help me stay on target, and just help me control my sense in general. Even if you don't run a high sense, this is still gonna be a helpful video for you just because these drills are good for anyone to practice, right? They're good for low sense players, high sense players, medium sense players, and <clears throat> most importantly, your sensitivity um, is completely personal preference. I just wanna get that out of the way with before I get a ton of comments asking me if uh, high sense is better. It's honestly just whatever you play best at. So if you play really well at a high sense, then run high sense. If you play well at medium, low, that's what you should be running. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and we're gonna hop right into some of the tips. First tip we're gonna cover, and this is a pretty common one that I see a lot of people do, uh, is one taps for headshots, right? So you go into your terrorist hunt, you can either run through it quickly, you can run through it slowly. Uh, I like to run through mine fast with music on. This kind of makes it so that I can't really hear the terrorist and then I have to react to them. It also makes my Terrace Hunt not so boring, right? Because Terrace Hunts, after you grind them for a while, they can get pretty stale. But if you're listening to music and you're kind of really grinding, you're focusing on actual drills, it, it, it makes it more, more entertaining and you're going to stay focused and practice better. And eventually, this is going to come out to you being a better player in general. So a lot of people will say you have to set your gun to one tap mode. Uh, this is nice. You can do it if you want to. I don't because I like to practice more thing more than one thing at a time and so what I will do is I'll leave my gun just on full auto regular and I will just use my own controller discipline my own trigger discipline to control the how much my rate of fire so if I want to one tap you know I'll just one tap with my trigger and then that way I'm practicing trigger discipline and I'm also practicing you know aim so it's kind of like a nice little thing uh, that you can do if you want to really make sure that you're only one tapping because you don't have that trigger discipline then maybe go to one tap mode or you can kind of do what i've seen austin do is he runs the fbi uh, pistol i think it's the usg it's got like a 21 bullet mag and he's just tapping with the pistol and that way it kind of guarantees that you're only shooting one bullet if your trigger discipline isn't really there uh, it's a great way to practice thank you austin for uh, letting me see that in your heads and your t hunts but next thing after focusing on one taps and headshots is crouch shots. So I'm not talking about crouch spamming specifically because I don't, I don't crouch spam. I'm not, I don't really see that as being that beneficial. I think people more or less just do it out of reflex nowadays, but the crouch shot. <clears throat> so basically what I will do is when I'm in a gunfight and ranked, I'll crouch once or maybe twice at the most. And that's just to kind of throw off the other, my opponent's aim on my head level. And when I'm playing in a terrorist hunt, the way I practice this is, you know, I just run around. The second I see a terrorist, I immediately crouch and I make sure that I'm still aiming head level. And so because you're crouching, this is going to bring your entire player model down, right? So your entire player model is going to go down, which means your aim is also going to go down. So instead of aiming head level, you're going to be maybe aiming uh, at their chest, at their stomach, you know, lower than head level, which is not where you want to be shooting. So one thing you're going to need to do uh, to ensure that you're still keeping that actually is you're gonna have to move your right stick up as you crouch down so if you're hitting your b button if you're hitting your b paddle whatever make sure that you compensate with your aim by moving upwards as you're crouching down and then that way you'll still be staying at head level and uh you won't be missing your shots next thing quick peeks now this is a pretty common thing in siege uh it's changed a little bit over the years with the speed at which you can do it you still can quick peek, it's just not as fast as it used to be. So there's kind of two options that you have when you decide that you want to quick peek somebody. So say they're holding an angle or you know like they're holding a pretty common angle and you just want to quick peek it. One thing you can do is come from obviously leaning left. So say you're peeking an angle from left to right, 
or right to left. I guess you can either way. Let's say we're going from left to right. <clears throat> you start by aiming left, you move your feet to the right, and then you lean right. And then that way, you know, you're kind of flicking your head around the corner. And then you bring your feet back to the left and you aim back to the left. So you're just kind of flicking your head around the corner really rapidly. And so that way it's a quick peek, right? You're not exposed for very long and you're kind of just pre-firing as you do that to hope you get the headshot. Uh, I, this way is nice because it's really fast, obviously. You're not exposed to the enemy very long, but it can be hard to master and hard to control, especially on a controller. So one thing that I like to do is just a lean from, so starting at middle, and I'll, you'll see this quite often when I'm playing mirror. I'll aim, I'll start with my body like on the very edge of my mirror, almost to the point where, you know, I could be shot if somebody sprayed that side, the soft side of my mirror, but I'm not quite there yet. So I start right there aiming middle, and then I just either lean, if I'm moving to my left or if I'm moving to the right, I just lean in that direction. So after we've covered, you know, crouching, focusing headshots, quick peeking, then I move on to flicks. So something that's kind of difficult on console, especially uh, if you play a high sense, is being able to control your flicks. And this is going to be tough for really anybody, but something that you can do to practice this is to kind of go into a room and pick out three points that you want to shoot at so for example this room has these three tv screens which i really like because they're kind of destructible and they show your actual bullet holes which is nice because you can keep track of where you're actually shooting so you pick out these three points you kind of start off you know slow shooting left middle right maybe or right middle left you know then you can start mixing up your pattern maybe speeding it up a little bit while still trying to maintain your accuracy. And it's a really nice way to just being able to work on moving from one target to the next in rapid, rapid succession. <clears throat> now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, so say, you know, these TV screens, you know, you're, you've mastered this, it's, it's really easy now, uh, we can move on to something else. So there's picture frames usually on a bunch of the maps in the Siege. And the nice part about this map is the picture frames are not all in a straight line, like they're not all horizontal. So when we're on these TV screens, we're only shooting, you know, on a horizontal axis. We're not moving our, our stick at all vertically, which when you're playing ranked, it's not gonna be like that. Yes, you know, you're gonna get gunfights where all you have to do is move horizontally, but a lot of times, you know, people are crouching, people are drop shotting. You're gonna have to be able to move your stick vertically as well as horizontally. So it's a good thing to practice being able to flick and react to those types of situations. So with these picture frames, you know, some of them are high, some of them are low. I start off with just either aiming at the low ones, then moving up, uh, moving across, you know, again, changing up that pattern and just trying to focus on making sure I'm shooting one bullet, I'm hitting one picture frame. And I know that because I can see the bullet actually hitting the picture frame because they're destructible. And you can kind of do this as you're going through the map so what i like to do is as i'm just playing my terror stunt normally uh practicing other things you know i'm practicing my flicks as i'm running through i'm practicing focusing on headshots practice practicing my crouch shot practicing all these things and you see the picture frames on the wall you just really quick do your flicks in between them all and try and knock down as many picture frames as you can obviously this is going to be something that you're going to need to practice with all of these drills actually you're going to need to practice you may not get them all right away and by no means do you need to practice every single one of these drills every time you play ranked or every time you do your t-hunts these are more of just different aspects to focus on that are going to increase your gun skill so for me when i'm <clears throat> playing a or when i'm getting warmed up for ranked i usually just run into you know two or three maybe five terrorist hunts and i run through them really quick you know i focus on my headshots i do my crouch shots i do my flicks and quick peeks I kind of do all these things but I don't really focus on either one in particularly for very long so I'm just doing them as I'm going through the terrorism as I'm going through you know and killing all the enemies and so that way you know I'm not spending a ton of time on it but I am still practicing it on a daily basis which is kind of nice so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video that's really a bit really about it um, if there's anything I missed or you guys have any questions, leave in the comments, message me on Twitter. Um, I appreciate all the support. And as always, guys, most importantly, never forget, stay cheesy.